with your book review of Boop 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 Boop. And it's been a while. I got blue hair now. <laughs> and I'm outside because it's 77 degrees. I'm wearing a jacket because it's St. Patrick's Day. And it's a cool jacket. It's a Legend Zelda jacket. Hello, hello. What? Anyway. Um. So I'm outside in great outdoors with some trees. My dog's inside. And um, he wouldn't climb up this anyway because the steps aren't really there. It's kind of just a drop at this point. So. Yeep. Okay. So this book is published by Penguin? Ooh, I don't think it's Penguin. Puffin. A Puffin book. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, um, published by Puffin. Ping, uh, www.penguinputnam.com I knew Penguin was involved. Um, it's called L. I know it's good, not gonna, uh, I think it gets flipped properly, because it did the last time. Because I said something about my Slipknot t-shirt being backwards, and, yep. <laughs> so, it's called Liddy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I don't know how it works. I don't know if. Um, the editing software I used had flipped it for me, but, by Catherine Patterson. I almost said Peterson, I was like, I'm not right. Um, this is in my top ten favorite books I've ever read. It's really, really good. Uh, she also wrote a book called Jacob. Uh, Jacob, Have I Loved? I haven't read that one. Have I Loved? Yeah, I said it right. I said it right. Um, it's about a girl. And I'm going to say this without reading the back. I'll read the back in a second. From what I remember, because it was, you know, I'm, re I'm trying to do this in the order from which I've read them. It's about a girl who... I can't remember, like, what happened to her brother. I think her brother's off somewhere. Her mom's in a insane asylum. And she has to save her house and her property and whatnot from getting taken away from her. And this is the story on if she does it, how she does it, if she does does it, if she does does it. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> oh, I still don't have my voice back. I was sick, um, and I've and I've still been coughing like. Almost two weeks after I've stopped being sick, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, okay, I'll read the back now. Liddy's life, Liddy's life may be tough, but show is, sh but so is she. So I don't know if it's considered a coming of age story, but if it is, it's a really good one because she grows up. Um, there's some, I think there's some feministic qualities to the book about equality and whatnot. Her parents are gone and her brother and sisters are sent to live with other people. Okay, yeah. That's what happened to her brother and sister. Um, I would have read over I'm getting off track. I would have read over the beginning of the book again but somewhere I lost the beginning of the book and it's on page 7. So and I wanted to reread the beginning of the book halfway through me reading it and then I was like, where did it go? Don't know. It's somewhere. Um, Liddy Worthen is on her own. When Liddy hears about meal jobs in Lowell, Massachusetts, she heads there with the goal of earning enough money to reunite her family. So she's trying not only to save the place she's living at, but also to bring her family back together. Um, and she's going, I'm pretty sure Lowell, Massachusetts is really far away. Um, like from where she's at. I know it's really far away from where I'm at, but I mean, like, f pretty far away from where she's at. Um, she heads there, yeah, six days a week from dawn till dusk, Liddy and the other girls run weaving looms in murky dust Lintfield factory. Lenny learns to read and handle the, the menacing overseer, but when the working conditions begin to affect her friend's health, she makes a choice. Will she speak up for better working conditions and risk her job and her dream? Will she stay quiet until it's perhaps too late? Okay, so 
This is a really good book. It pretty much tells you a few things that are going to happen. There are a little, there's like a section before she gets to the mail and whatnot. I found it really cool because it's, as far as I can tell, more historically accurate than it is otherwise. Because there actually was, you know, male jobs in Lowell, 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 I said Lowell. Um, Lor it's spelled L-O-W-E-L-L, -L -L. Lowell, Massachusetts. Um, so, there were male jobs there, and I looked up some stuff about it, and the working conditions were horrible. So, all that's true, and I had read this before I took, uh, U.S. History, which was my favorite history class, by far. And, understanding this, or reading this book, helped me understand that part of what we were taught a lot more. We only spent, like, a, maybe a day and a half talking about the male jobs up north. We didn't talk much about it, but the fact that we did talk about it and that I knew a lot about it and I got to, you know, talk and speak to the class like, yes, this is this is a thing that happened in a book I read. Um, so that was a really cool aspect of it is if you read it as um, younger and then you learn about it, it helps you understand a few things. So, um, one of the cover this up because I put another one of those things in it from last time with my name well it's not even my real name and they just sent it to me but it is at my address so um I did buy it at school I can't remember why I bought it or what like urged me to buy it but it you know I did buy it so something was like oh yes give me this um this is so big on me um so <sighs> yep, got cut off again. Gosh darn it. I actually am kind of upset about that. Oh, this is... That's where I was on the ground at. Yeah, there was a mirror beside me. It's kind of broken, too. Um, anyway, yeah, I got cut off at the end there, so... I want to make an outro. <laughs> um... So, yeah, that was my second annual book review. Annual book review? This is the best outro ever. Amateur book review is the second one, and it was, it was pretty rushed, because I know I couldn't film for very long. So, yeah. This is the outro.